Hello everyone, it's Alia. Welcome back to my channel for another reading. So, we're doing an energy update on your person. What is your person thinking and feeling about you right now? For those of you who are new to my channel, I do this energy update every single week, most of the time on Monday. Okay, my time, United States Pacific time. So, of course, this reading is intended for those of you who are in some sort of a challenging connection, situationship, or relationship. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. Um, if you're not gonna resonate with every message and when you don't resonate, don't worry about it. It just means it wasn't for you. It's not meant for you. So just discard, just take what resonates and discard the rest, okay? So let's get started. I'm gonna, let me zoom in and introduce you guys to the piles so you can make your selection. So pile one, we have, uh, this is Dalmatian Stone. Pile two, carnelian, and pile three, malachite. So take a moment to take a few deep breaths, center yourself, and choose the pile or piles you're drawn to. Please go ahead and make a selection. If you need to pause the video, you need more time. I'm sorry, if you need more time, please pause the video. I just said it reverse. All right, let's get started. Okay, here we go. Pile one, if, if welcome, if you have chosen Dalmatian Stone, this is your reading. And we have some oracle cards as well as some tarot cards here for future energies, which we're going to read towards the end. Now, Let's see what's going on in your person's headspace when it comes to you and the connection. What does your person think about you? Let's see. Then we're going to clarify the cards as well. What does your person think about you? What does your person think about you and the connection? So, let's get one more card. All right, so let's see. Okay, awareness, okay. Sacral chakra, okay. And obstacles and challenges. So, awareness is the magician. Magician, it could be that they might see somebody who's very confident, somebody who's... Um, who's very intuitive, somebody who's also very charming, somebody who's very powerful, even aware, as you could see this, I mean, just it says awareness, somebody who's connected to spirit, to their, to the higher self, somebody who's very spiritual. And um, <clears throat> the sacral chakra can talk about intimacy, desires, maybe there's a block there, maybe you guys are having a hard time connecting. Um, being more, perhaps being vulnerable with each other and being more intimate, closer. Um, the creativity also might be blocked within this connection. Maybe your person has um, a blocked sacral chakra. You might have it also blocked. Um, maybe one of the reasons why you guys came together here is to, to learn to be vulnerable, to learn to be intimate, to learn about relationships. And um, yeah. And then we have obstacles and challenges. This is the Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords is known as a card of, of conflict. Okay, so they might see you, you might be disappointed or you might be argumentative. You might be fighting a lot as well with the Five of Swords. We're going to clarify these cards to see what's going on. You might... And you can see in this card here, this is something that just drew my attention. You can see here the bridge is broken. So you might find it very difficult to kind of be, to be, um, to be on the same page about certain things. And maybe this is where the conflict um, lies, is that maybe you find, find it very difficult to agree on things. 
um, you might want different things, which creates a lot of fighting between the two of you. Or just obstacles, yeah? Challenges. Please clarify. Please clarify awareness. Okay, the devil. Okay. The devil is a card of fear as well. And it's a card of bondage. A card of addiction, obsession. Um, and here with the magician. So there's some sort of maybe... This, you know, maybe for some of you guys, this is not for everybody, but for some of you, you might, they might see you as somebody who really likes to get his way or her way. Uh, could be quite, maybe you have some control over them. Uh, they might see you, this is really specific to one or two, might even see you as somebody who, like I said, who's kind of a trickster, you know, a bit, maybe you would do or say what's necessary to get what you want, yeah, a bit manipulative. And this is extreme. I didn't want to use the word because it's, it's, it's harsh. But the two cards together, because remember, we're asking, what does your person think about you? And the magician and the devil, somebody who's quick-witted, somebody who knows how to speak, somebody who knows how to get their way, that kind of thing. Um, it's also a card of, you know, maybe you you could be somebody who who wants something you could be like let's say if you want something you set your mind to it and it's a point to obsession yeah until you get it you get hooked on something or fascinated with something until you you get it so that's what the magician of the devil here can talk about these are very powerful energies so let's clarify the sacral chakra okay so somebody here is not open here that has walls they may see you as somebody's having walls which is kind of weird because you're watching this video because obviously your person is not open yeah they might be thinking the same thing about you you may see them as somebody who's not open who's kind of keeps you at arm's length and um, they might see you the same way you might mirror each other okay obstacles and challenges please clarify this card magician again okay i feel like the second time we're getting the magician so it could be that you both want your way there's a power struggle you both are the magician i, I really feel there's a lot of mirroring going on and you might want things your way they might want things their way and you both kind of know how to get your way you both are you won't back down okay so and i think this these are what the challenges and obstacles i feel as though that you both need because there's a lot of here a lot of passion a lot of attraction mutual but i think that you you're both having the same issues you both kind of uh, uh you know want things your way you both have a hard time with being vulnerable yeah uh, both defensive yeah so there's a lot of compromise that needs to happen in this connection between the two of you so there's a lot of yeah that's what I'm getting a lot of mirroring um, yeah so let's see what's going on in the heart space so it looks like a battle of wheels here big time um, let's see What's going on? What's going on in the heart space when it comes to you? What do they what do they feel for you? Oh, let's see. Let's get three cards from the romance angels. Then we're gonna clarify. Okay. Make the effort. Okay, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So honeymoon. So Honeymoon is a card of better days ahead, but I saw it's a card of distance. Yeah. It says enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Maybe, maybe they want to make an effort. Maybe they want to take you on vacation. Okay. Maybe they want to reconnect with you, take you on vacation, that kind of thing. They want to make, maybe take some sort of action towards you. Right. And the last one, stay optimistic about your love life. So they still, you know, they still have hopes about this connection, I feel. Um, I, I feel as though that they still think that this connection could work, even though there's a lot of conflict and there's a lot of, you know, 
push and pull back and forth. You know, sometimes it's your turn, sometimes it's their turn, sometimes you do the pushing, or sometimes they do it. So, but I feel that their heart is in the right place. Yeah. Uh, I feel like for some of you, this is going to mean that they want maybe ask you to go somewhere or whatever. And they're still hoping maybe that things would work out for, for some of you. Some of you, I got, I saw this bottom deck energy here, the engagement. Some, some of you, this is a, a, a big, uh, this is a, a relationship, you know, a commitment. So this is not, for most of you, this is not just a, a situation share. Uh, for some, uh, maybe some of you is a situation ship, but most of you, I feel like you've had a relationship with this person. Maybe right now, you know, maybe you're at a distance, um, or you find it hard to kind of understand one another and be close, but this person still thinks, still being optimistic, they still haven't given up on the connection. Okay, so let's, let's clarify the cards. Please clarify, make the, make the effort. Please clarify, make the effort. Okay. They almost, the Knight of Swords, so they always, they almost want to be like impulsive. They might want to do, make an effort when you least expect it and it's going to be all, all sudden. They're not going to think much about it. They're just going to charge ahead and make some sort of move. They come to you, see you, talk to you, ask you to go somewhere, you know, that kind of thing. So let's see, honeymoon. Please clarify. Yeah. A new beginning, a new venture, a new adventure. Um, so, so yeah, reigniting passion, reconnecting. So, so yeah, stay optimistic about your love life. What is that about? Please clarify. Okay, Eight of Swords. So sometimes it's not an easy thing. I feel like this is a, not an easy connection because sometimes they feel restricted. They feel that maybe things are not going to go anywhere or sometimes they feel like, hopeless that the connection is not going anywhere you might not see eye to eye but they're still staying optimistic despite the difficulty this despite feeling restricted here they're still pretty optimistic so so yeah like i said the heart is in the right place so let's look at the oracle cards all right let's start with your person's energies towards you so we have fifth chakra Archangel Gabriel. I feel like this person, your person, there's something very important they want to speak to you about. They want to tell you some sort of truth, maybe even confess something, express their feelings, speak to you from an honest place. They don't want to games. I feel like this person, your person, really has something to tell you, okay? If they had a hard time in the past communicating, opening up to you, this is about this is since this deck we can use reversals and you know reversals as well um it came up upright which means that the, your person wants to speak to you wants to open up to you wants to express something even for some of you confess something tell you some sort of truth yeah and the last one is that man holding a heart in the reverse so sometimes i feel that because it was in the reverse I feel like sometimes your person feels overwhelmed with feelings or they might be going through a lot with family issues and when they feel overwhelmed with feelings they just shut down they might come across as they don't care but it's not true I, I feel this is what the card in um, reversed means um, is that they're not at home they're, they don't feel very comfortable with their feelings they feel like they just shut down they just they need to learn to express their feelings and tell you what they're feeling to say if they're having a bad day that kind of thing they're just the type of people they're just going to keep it all inside and you're just sitting there scratching your head wondering if it's something you've done something you said it's just that they have a hard time expressing feelings it could also for some of you maybe this your person has had bad work um just just a, a negative um view on love in general you know maybe because of their experiences they may they don't something must have happened to them where their heart just shut down or they have a hard time opening up their heart and just letting somebody in so but it's a work in progress because here with the fifth chakra here it's like they want to tell you something they so expect some sort of communication coming your way okay um 
regardless if you're talking to them or not, there's something they want to tell you. All right, so let's see. So for you, we have wishing. Uh, so you maybe you spend a lot of time fantasizing, daydreaming, wishing, trying to manifest the connection, try to manifest them. This is a card that's telling you your wish might come true, but be careful what you wish for. Is this what you want? And then it's followed by risk. Also, you have to know, is this, is this connection worth the risk? Yeah, is it this connection worth that your leap of faith? Okay, if the answer is yes, then go for it. If the answer is not, because everybody's dealing with something different, okay? If the answer is this connection is not worth for you to take this leap of faith, then don't do it, okay? So this is up to you. Be careful what you wish for. Know this is, if this is a good connection for you or not. If it is, trust your gut, you know, jump in, in it, like having the leap, that, take that leap of faith. If it's not, you know what you're going to have to do. All right, so let's see. Uh, what spirit wants you to know about this connection? What's the main, one of the, I get, actually, I, I won't say the main lesson, but what are the lessons to be learned in this connection? One of them here is you are good enough. So it's about having, knowing your worth, knowing your value, knowing that you're good enough. You don't need to be, I wish I was thinner enough, or I wish I was prettier, I wish I was this, I was uh, more successful, I want more uh, richer, or whatever. And just know that you're enough. You know, person who's going to love you, want to be with you, they're going to accept you for who you are. Plain and simple. If they're not, then they're not for you, okay? Just know your worth. Um... We have some signs here. I usually don't talk about signs. We pretty much have a little bit, except for Earth. Oh, no, we do have. We have Capricorn. Maybe it's some, it means something to you guys. I just heard to mention the signs. Maybe it would mean something. Don't worry if you're not a, if you and your person are not these signs. Then you might have them in your chart. We're all a combination of signs. So Virgo, we have Capricorn. And then we have here fire sign. We have earth, I mean, uh, air signs. So fire, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. And air is uh, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. Okay. And I'm not sure what, gem what, um, what the magician, what sign magician represents. Uh, I would look it up. But, um, so yeah, but Virgo and Capricorn, if that means anything for you guys. Okay. And then we have, what do you need also to learn in this connection? So we have your, know that you're good enough. Know your worth. Valiant courage. Take action with passion. So this is a card about of confidence. It's also going for what you want. If you truly believe this connection is worth taking the risk for, then go for it. Okay. But this is again to be, to be confident to know your worth, know what you bring into the connection. And hopefully your person also has to add value uh, to your connection, not take away from you, okay? And the last one here, um, the answer to your question. I, I pulled some cards. I pulled a card for each group from the angel answers to see what would be the answer to your question. Here it's not a simple yes or no. We have recovery. So recovery is a card telling you be patient, time for healing, time for introspection, time just to be, you know, with your thoughts. And um, and it's also, maybe also you've already done a lot of work on yourself. Maybe this is the time that you're ready to move ahead, right? To take whatever actions you need. For some of you, it means actions towards this connection. For some of you, the action means, you know, you've decided this is not for your, good for you in the long run and you're taking, you know, you're moving on to something else, okay? But whatever it is, there's a ton of recovery. And it's also, recovery means for some of you, so this connection, there's still, you know, it's salvageable, yeah? It would be recovered, I guess. So, uh, where is this connection heading, group one? Let's see what's, what's going to happen in the next few days, weeks, or even a few months. These are energies where they're heading. They can always change. But let's see what's coming up for your connection. So we have the chariot, which is another card of action. So we have a, what, what is a re repeated theme here from the cards? We have action cards, which means if something has been at a stalemate for some time, there's an action starting up, okay? Or if it already started or about to start, okay? 
And your person might be the one taking that, you know, taking action because we have the, we have for the heart, uh, make the effort, right? And then we have the two of wands. Okay. So it looks like here, the two of wands in this deck, it looks like two people working together. It's a collaboration. They're both on the same page. Then the last card here, possible outcome, we have the six of cups. So the six of cups, it's a card of renewal, of reconciliation. For some of you, you're going to get back into that relationship. For some of you, the Six of Cups also can talk about remaining friends. So some of you, you know, going to come together and work things out, but decide to stay friends and, you know, still be connected. And others of you, this means you guys coming back together and working things out. Yeah, reconciling. Like I said, I give you guys different options because each card could mean so many different things. So I'll give you different possible scenarios. But what we take from this reading, things look like are going to improve. They're going to move forward. All right. I hope you found this reading helpful, group one. And if you did, please consider liking and subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care. Group two, welcome. If you've chosen Carnelian, this is your reading. We're going to look at these oracle cards as well as some tarot cards for future energies coming up for your connection. We're going to look at these towards the end. For now, let's use the psychic tarot and see what does your person think about you on the connection. Okay. What does your person think about you and the connection? Get three cards. Okay, so we have solo plexus chakra. Okay, we have patience, the temperance, and we have temptation, the devil. Okay. Alrighty then. So solo plexus chakra, it's all about that gut feeling, that intuition. It's also talking about somebody who's powerful. They may see you as someone who's very powerful, somebody who's who's not afraid to go for what they want, somebody who's not afraid to speak the truth, somebody, like I said, quite confident, somebody who's also very intuitive, strong intuition, yeah? Uh, somebody who's very patient. Um, and also they feel like Somehow you balance them out, okay? Something in your energy that's very healing, that's very balancing for them. Uh, they like being in your presence. And the temptation is a lot of passion, a lot of uh, sexual energy between the two of you. They can see you as somebody who's very sexy, somebody who's very, um, very mysterious, very tempting, yeah? So let's clarify these cards. Let's see what's going on. Please clarify solar plexus chakra. You could also see you as somebody, because I was uh, I was called up to look at the numerology of these numbers. We have six, five, which is a two, and a three, which is a five. So this is a five energy. Five is ruled by Mercury. So they might see you as somebody who's very lucky, somebody who's very independent, a free spirit, uh, somebody who loves traveling, knowing about different things. Somebody also who could be restless, somebody who could be like a warrior, somebody who's anxious, yeah? So let's see. This clarifies solar plexus chakra. Yeah, the full. Somebody who, who's not afraid to take that leap of faith. Somebody who's very brave. Yeah. Somebody who's not afraid of the unknown. So, so wow. Trusting as well. They might trust you. Somebody, they feel like they could trust you. And uh, please clarify patience. Nine of Wands. It could be that um, Nine of Wands is a card of, you know, perseverance. Maybe this you are somebody who's just not giving up on them, somebody who's very patient. No matter what you've gone through, you're still hanging in there, you still believe in the connection, that kind of thing. On, on the flip side, this card could also mean somebody who has, you know, who's a bit guarded, yeah? But here we're talking about patience, so you're somebody who, if you believe in something on someone, you would just stick it out, you would wait, regardless of what you go through, um, you just 
someone who has a lot of patience and perseverance. So what's, please clarify temptation. Six of Wands. So they really put you on a pedestal. There's something about you that they just admire. Yeah, They like the fact that you are, you could be quite successful in whatever field you're in, or you could be quite popular, okay? People love you, and, and uh, you're well-liked, somebody who's very, who has a strong presence, and um, you're admired by a lot of people, you're well-liked. And they could also put you, maybe you, you just make them look good, yeah? You add value, they're proud of you, they, you make them look good uh, when you're around them, yeah? That kind of thing. Um, so, so we have here the signs, um, we have Sagittarius and Capricorn, and also we have fire, okay, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries, and so yeah, so if that means anything to you, you don't, you don't have to be one of those signs, it's just that I feel, you know, if it means something to you, especially if you have, if you are the sun. So, so yeah, I think above all is that this year, somebody who's very attractive, um, who's very sexy, and um, they could be, you could be quite intimidating as well, because they see you in such a highlight that you could be quite intimidating for them, right? For some of you, um, because they see you as a winner, um, somebody who has a lot of admirers, yeah? So let's see what's going on in our heart space. With the, with the temperance, some of you also could be a healer. They might see you as a healer. So some of you maybe maybe into Reiki, that kind of thing. You might, you know. So, so yeah. What's going on in their heart space when it comes to you? Attraction, passion, healing family issues. So, so obviously there's a lot of attraction. This sea is very attractive, you know, very attractive. A lot of passion. They feel a lot of passion for you. And healing family issues is usually, this card comes up when somebody is in another relationship. You might be in a relationship. You might have family. But... Uh, if it's not a third party, this is just means, you know, you might both trigger each other from, you know, your own family issues, meaning your traumas from the past with your parents, the, you know, how you grew up, that kind of thing. And they might have some, some of those traumas they're still dealing with. Maybe that's why they kind of, um, yeah, but I've seen this, I've seen this card more about you see, come up when there's like someone who has a family who has another relationship. So yeah, they might admire a lot about you and they might feel for you. They have, have strong feelings for you, but there's something here with family issues that's kind of blocking them. If you're having some sort of challenge in the connection, it has to do with this. Let's clarify these cards. Please clarify attraction. It says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Too many cards have just fell. Well, just so many cards. I just need one. Please clarify attraction. Eight of Cups. So you might have walked away from them. Okay, you might have walked away from them. Maybe you're like enjoying your time alone. They might have walked away from you temporarily. Somebody has walked away from you. Um, obviously, if we're doing this reading, there's some separation, but you might have walked away from them. Yeah, deciding to, you know, you're better off alone, you're taking a break or whatever. And what's with the passion? Please clarify passion. The hermit. Yeah, looks like here again, been withdrawn the passion has been kind of like um, maybe you're not as close as you used to be maybe you're not 
you know, you had so much attraction and chemistry with the hermit now, somebody here is withdrawn. You might be withdrawn, they might be withdrawn here. Uh, because whatever these family issues represent, like it could even mean, let's say, it doesn't have to be in another relationship or it can mean that you both come from different backgrounds, different, your families don't support the connection, that kind of thing. So please clarify the family issues. Queen of Pentacles. So there's a Queen of Pentacles in your, in within present in, within this connection that's preventing you guys from being together so this could be anybody it could be a colleague a friend a wife a, a husband it doesn't matter the, the gender okay because it's just the energies of the queen of pentacles meaning there's somebody around okay somebody who's strong somebody who's around them or around you so this person here is preventing for a lot of you this means this is a third party Okay, healing family issues. You you could be married with children. They could be married with children, that kind of thing. Or this could represent a mother who's not supporting the connection. It can even represent an ex, ex-wife, ex-husband, that kind of thing. So so yeah, they I feel like this is what's preventing you guys from being together because there was so much promise for this connection. There's so much admiration for you. Um but these obstacles are present and that's what's keeping you guys apart let's look at the oracle cards guys let's see so we have here indecision for your person indecision having to choose between two options and can make a decision this decision indecision could last days weeks months or even years so they can't seem to make a decision when it comes what to do with their life they could be for example for those of you like they don't know what to do which way to go so they're very indecisive and that's why your connection hasn't you're both in separation or just things are not they're not going very well right now within this connection then we have angel of love in the reverse so this person is attached to the wrong person okay for example, your person is attract is a, uh, attached to a, not a good relationship. Is finding it very difficult to let go, even though they're not, say, in love, but they find it very difficult to let go of the of the relationship. I feel like that relationship has passed its expiration date, but they're still staying there. Another meaning for this card is that. <clears throat> their disappointment in love or they don't have a lot, a lot of love around them like i said they might be in a, in a they might be in a situation where they're not they don't have a lot of love they don't have tender they don't have that tender connection or tender people around them i feel like this person is almost like stopped for love from what you know but they find it very difficult to let go so they can start new. For some of you, this is going to be a person who's stuck in an unhappy relationship. But for some reason, that's all they know and they're attached to it and they can't let go. But they find it very difficult. They love all these qualities about you. They have all these feelings and attraction for you. But for some reason, they're afraid to take that leap of faith. As far as you, uh, your energies, we have summon. This is about you summoning also the... I'm trying to put the cards more in the center, but it's just, it's not happening. So this is about you also summoning some courage, okay? It's about summoning confidence and courage and go for what you want. Um, you know, you got to do what you got to do. If you've been in this type of connection and it has it's been very excruciating, it's been back and forth, back and forth, and you don't know what to do. You're gonna to have to sum, summon some some courage and make and take a difficult decision. If your person is being really indecisive, you might have to make that decision for them. Uh, meaning that for some of you, it's gonna mean walking away from this connection temporarily. You've already walked away, but you know, and others of you, maybe your person has walked away and you find it very difficult to walk away yourself or work on yourself and you can't help but you're still very very much stuck yeah so this is about summoning the courage i feel summoning your power getting your power back here with the solar plexus you're a very strong person it's just about you getting back your power sometimes we have some connections or they come to serve us 
make a teacher some lesson once and sometimes the separation is part of that lesson you just have to trust if you are meant to be no obstacles gonna keep you guys apart that you will come back together but in the meantime you're gonna have to find the courage to do the best you can and do the only thing you can and even if that means you know walking away temporarily from this connection letting go another card for you is that through letting go maybe something would change some transformation will happen within you or even for the connection but you have to learn to go with the flow not to hold on so tight to your desired outcome you want what you want and you can deviate from that this is about really trusting the process but in the meantime you're transforming through this connection and then we have what spirit wants you to know about this connection we have you're very close to achieving your goals okay for some of you you might get what you want okay you're close to getting what you want uh, it's relative how close you are so, you know some uh, it could be it could be days i mean it could be weeks months or even years before you get what you want but somehow it's saying here that whatever it is that you want because since the general reading you're Maybe this is confirmation for those of you. Maybe this, you're going to get what you want after all. Okay. And then we have a year from now. So for some of you, it's going to be a year from now. Maybe this connection with, maybe you have to walk away for the time being. You've walked away for the time being. And maybe a year from now, you go, you reconnect. Okay. Far away places, get ready for new horizons. For some of you, getting what you want is not going to be necessarily with this person maybe you're going to get the love and the relationship that you want is going to be with someone else there's a, there's a, there's an opportunity for another relationship far away places is that you might have other opportunities coming your way and others of you you might get what you want after all in this relationship like everyone is dealing with something different but expect powerful changes coming up okay whatever those changes will be they're coming up for you, new opportunities, new changes happening a year from now, okay? And let's see, where's this connection heading? Group two, we have King of Swords, okay? We have Six of Wands again, getting what you want. In the end, no matter what, no matter what, you're going to be victorious, okay? Again, we have twice here the Six of Wands. In the end, you're going to get what you want. Whether with this connection or finding it elsewhere, but you're going to get achieve your goals here. Yeah. And then the last one is we have justice. So justice maybe is going to work in your favor. Okay, justice could be either positive or negative depending on the cards and surrounding. But there's something that you're going to get exactly what you deserve. Okay, so but I feel like you're going to feel no matter what you're going to feel like a winner. Okay, and King of Swords here, so especially if you're dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini, could be that your person here might come back around. Maybe there's some things that's going to happen. Maybe there's some miracles going to happen. I don't want to give you guys false hope because everyone is dealing with something different. But for the sake of the reading, since it's a general reading, for what, for what, just for the sake of the reading, it looks like you're going to get what you want. Okay? <laughs> King of Swords, though, King of Swords can be rushed. That's something you have to, to, to remember. King of Swords will call, take action when King of Swords is ready. Okay? You can't force him or her. You can't. But no matter what, I feel like you're going to be happy with the outcome. So maybe there's something that's going to happen and that's going to force this person to make that, ultimately make that decision. And uh, who knows? But... It doesn't look like this is ending if anything it's still going but in the meantime you still need to live your life you still need to have the courage you still have to go you know uh, have other experiences don't miss out on other opportunities okay so so yeah and to trust letting go going letting go and let things unfold other as this should be okay not forcing anything that's all I have for you, group two. I hope you found the reading helpful. If you have, please consider liking the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Group three, welcome. If you've chosen Malachi, this is your reading. We're going to look at these cards towards the end. For now, let's see what's going on in your person's headspace when it comes to you and the connection. Where 
does your person think about you? Okay. So we have hope, okay, the star. So, of course, obviously it says hope, yeah? There's hope, maybe, for the connection. Or this is also a distance card, okay? Um, we have solar plexus chakra. And we have spiritual strength, which is the, the hermit. So it looks like here that you might be at a distance here. There's distance. You might be far away from one another. Um, emotional or physical distance. And uh, so let's clarify these cards. Please clarify the hope. Seven of Cups. It could be that this you is somebody who, who has a lot of options, okay? Who has other options, but there's hope. Hope for your connection. Maybe hope that for the two of you. Maybe things would work out between the two of you. Um, the star is also could see you as somebody who could be an ideal. Maybe you're, I, maybe you're an ideal physically, or your personality might represent an ideal for them. Yeah, something they, a person that they, some qualities you possess are what they're looking for. Yeah, but at the same time here is that the seven of cups has a lot of uncertainty about the connection. But quite hopeful, but also there's a lot of insecurity. There's a lot of instability in this connection, not knowing where things are heading, that kind of thing. Oh, they might see you also. You might, they might think you're dating other people, that kind of thing. And please clarify the solar plexus chakra. Nine of Swords. So Nine of Swords is a card of worry, of fear, yeah, expecting the worst. Maybe they might think of you as that. Even though you have a lot of, there's hope in the connection, but at the same time, you're very fearful or um, you're very afraid of the connection. So you, or you would just simply worry a lot. Let's see, spiritual strength, king of swords. So there's distance here. So they might see you as kind of distant, kind of cold. Uh, you're very unpredictable. They might see as very unpredictable. Is that even though the, sometimes you might sh show them hope and warmth, and there's other times you're very withdrawn. So they're very you're very hard to read, and may and then also you could be very fearful as well, worried about other people around them. Could be um, it could be that you might be jealous for some of you, might be a bit possessive for some of you, and creates there's creates distance between the two of you guys. So so yeah, let's see what's going on in their heart space. What's going on in their heart space? So we have flirt, okay, send your lighthearted energy to others, and we have deception, and we have getting to know each other. So I feel like, you know, I feel like neither one of you really knows the other, and there's, you both hide your feelings, you both hide truly who you are with each other, maybe you both have a front, put up a front, that kind of thing. Flirt isn't this is a lighthearted, kind of casual for some of you. Maybe you've spent some time together, but it's casual. I don't see like a strong relationship. At least for most of you, I don't think this is a very strong type of relationship. I like a connection, but I don't think you've been in a relationship with this person. And because here they're getting to know each other, it's like maybe they're still, they want to get to know you. Maybe this is where the hope is, is yeah? Um, Let's clarify the cards and see what is going on here. Please clarify flirt. Two of Cups. So yeah, I mean, 
I feel like the attraction is mutual. You both love spending time with each other. You have you both have great time together. Um, but here with the seven, the seven of cups here, I guess represents there's a lot of unknowns. There's a lot of uncertainty about this connection and where it's going. But one thing for sure is that the feeling is mutual. The attraction is mutual. And you both love spending time with each other. When it, you spend time together, it's great. Uh, what's with the deception here? Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. The tower. So there's something that happened in their life. There's something that was unexpected. Maybe this is where they haven't told you the full truth, the whole truth, or they haven't disclosed what was going on in their life with the tower. It could um, something disaster, something like. It doesn't have to be very bad. It's just some something sudden, some big change, or uh, some sort of epiphany. But it's clarifying the deception. So maybe the deception that's what broke you guys up. Maybe they've they haven't been honest with you. Maybe they were there was infidelity, and that's kind of broke you guys up. The deception. And that's what it makes sense now with the Nine of Swords is that you might not trust them. You might uh, be, you know, fearful. You might be devastated. You might be like the separation. You might not be taking it easy. So there was something that happened here with the, the tower. It could mean a fight. It could mean a breakup. Something that it could be just suddenly being very cold. Or maybe you found out some truth. That was very deceptive and getting to know each other please clarify we have the seven of wands so seven of wands is a card of fighting for something but it's also a, a card of keeping somebody at arm's length so i feel that this you're dealing with somebody who's quite secretive what they might see was very secretive as well um because i feel like there was a nice it was interesting it was good when it was great when it was great when he was when you guys were together when you had this time together there was perhaps an opportunity for love things looked really great you guys had a great time but there's something here that was uh, that wasn't up front that kind of for some of you it led you guys to break up or just had a really bad fight and maybe now you're not talking and there's a lot that they don't know of you and there's a lot you don't know about about your person so you're both kind of very secretive you're both kind of guarded i think mainly your person here that's who you're dealing with because we have a king of swords here um so it's almost like you're dealing with somebody who's really hot and cold yeah and maybe the the coldness is because they're hiding something they don't want to tell you the truth or they don't they haven't revealed something yet for some of you it is a new connection so they haven't had the chance to reveal something yet to you so um let's look at the oral cards maybe we can it's going to shed some light into this connection more get some more clarity so for your person we have the broken heart so whatever your person who went through guys they have a broken heart this broken heart could be with you you know maybe they have a maybe for some of you this means there was a relationship although some of you like i said this was kind of casual a situation ship but for some of you if you've had a relationship know that this person has a broken heart over you this is also they might have a broken heart from the past from other relationships so they're just fresh out of a relationship and they might have had a broken heart they might have had something happen in their life which explains here which is a loss. Lo broken heart is a loss and we have the tower there's something they haven't told you about okay and then we have the deceit in the reverse they no longer want to be deceitful actually deceit is self-deceit it's not necessarily trying to deceive you this is just them or lying to themselves sabotaging the connection maybe because it's due to their broken heart they still haven't healed from whatever broken heart is um, as far as you is that you need to know your self-worth okay don't compromise that don't let anybody make you feel less than so know who you are know your value okay and then we have high priestess of fire you are that queen of wands this is similar to the queen of wands you are the queen of fire so 
be confident and we have the solar plexus chakra here. Don't lose who you are. Don't lose your identity because of this connection or because how this person, this person, I feel like the person you're dealing with group three is dealing with their own issues, with their own traumas, issues from their past that have nothing to do with you. So it's not, don't even take it personal, whatever happens, because still be true to yourself. Still don't lose confidence. Don't, don't, don't be discouraged because of whatever this person is dealing with or has lied to you or whatever has happened within this connection, okay? What Spirit wants you to know about this connection, we have finding sanctuary, opening to your spiritual source. This is about going inside, meditating, going inside. You don't even have to meditate, just going inside for answers. The answers lie within. You just have to go in inside of you, okay? Um, you just have to tune in, sit still, clear your mind, try to tune in, listen to your higher self. Um, and this is also about, it's almost like the four of swords, taking time out, be with yourself. You don't need to go to another relationship right away. This is a time of healing and contemplating. Yeah. And last, the other one was we have, we need, you need a dream, uh, you need dream, I'm sorry, your dreams need a practical plan, full moon in Taurus. Taurus is a sign of money, is a sign of stability, security. So in this connection, what it lacks is security. Could be financial issues, uh, could be a problem within this connection. That's why it says here, because we have the Taurus the moon in Taurus, the Taurus could be some sort of financial issues. Perhaps it's keeping you guys apart and um, career and financial issues. There's also lack of security in this connection, emotional security. That's what I mean, is that you don't know where you stand with this person. You know, sometimes they're very loving. When they're loving, they're amazing. When they are cold, they're... It's your ice cold. So there's a, there's lack of emotional security. And the last part from your angels, the angel answers, what your angels, whatever question you had before you watched this reading, the answer is yes. Okay. So the yes could be about anything. Will this work out? Yes. Will we come back together? Yes. You could even be asking, is this over? Yes. So they applied to me. Yes. So it could be anything. Whatever you ask about the answer is yes. Okay, where is this connection heading, group three? Let's see. Uh, we have the devil. So right now, uh, there's something here. You're both stuck. You, you might feel stuck. You might feel as though that you can't stop thinking about them. It's almost like obsessing over them, over the connection, just being constantly in your head. They could be also obsessing over you. And even though they might have pulled away or acting cold or whatever, it's just the front. It's a deception. They're not showing you the truly how they feel. And then we have the Queen of Wands. Again here, twice here, the energy of the Queen of Fire. So I feel like you have more control than you think. And I think by being your best self would make you more romantically attractive to this person by being confident, by having knowing your self-worth, by being, you know, just taking your power back would make you more attractive to this person. It makes you irresistible, as a matter of fact. And then the last part we have is the seven of pentacles. For some of you, you're going to wait this out. It's not over. This is still ongoing. The seven of pentacles is being patient, needing patience. More than anything, group three is that you need to get to know each other, okay? You both need to spend more time together and you need to go get to know each other because there's a lot of things you don't know and they might not know certain things about you. It's about being transparent, open with one another. And because there's love here, there's, there's mutual attraction and mutual admiration for one another. But I feel that it could be for the, some of you right now, this connection has been purely physical and you haven't been able to connect emotionally or connect you know um really go out let's say on a regular date so that kind of thing um so yeah but it really is up to you where this connection is going because you have more power than you think okay you can take it in whichever direction you can choose to walk away or you can choose to work at this connection so you can choose to, to wait 
still wait for this person or whatever because you're very much connected there's some also some karmic lessons between the two of you um you kind of attach to one another you have this um, magnetic attraction and um and with the devil here it tells me that you guys will pull back together again you'll be brought back together again even you might be withdrawn right now or not talking you might have had a fight or whatever don't worry you're coming right back and I think you you might connect for some of you that are intimate you might connect more on an intimate level where you find it very difficult to connect emotionally and really speak uh, the truth speak your truths and really connect emotionally because your person here is quite I don't know who, who broke your person's heart but they they have this broken heart and as long as they haven't they have this broken heart they're not able to heal they're not able to move on with somebody else so maybe this is where the patience is needed but in the meantime you don't just sit sit still and wait for this person I, that's never i encourage you guys to do that i always encourage you guys to seize the day tomorrow is not guaranteed with for anybody live your life and look at all the opportunities okay sending you guys i hope you guys really resonated if you found this reading helpful if you didn't resonate choose another group if you found it helpful please consider liking the video subscribe if you haven't already I'm sending you guys a big virtual hugs thank you so much for watching until next time bye bye